Welcome, EdTech 533 YouTube for Educators. I'm Laura Hamill, and I am broadcasting to you from my classroom. I felt my classroom would be an appropriate setting to discuss the potential of YouTube um, in teaching and learning. We have already learned so much, I feel, in the, just these few weeks as far as using uh, YouTube to create playlists, um, to curate videos and content, to upload lesson plans in the description area, and yet there is so much more um, for educators. So instead of discussing the pros and cons, because I find few cons along the way, unless it's uh, technical issues and so forth, and things that just come up in your own district, but that there's so much potential there. And so I'd like to discuss with you how I use YouTube and the way I look at it um, in, from my standpoint when designing um, the teaching that goes on in my classroom. So when I was thinking back to how I curate content and design lessons, it stems back to my undergrad and when I first started learning how to um, put something together for my students to learn. And that all stems from best practice of using Webb's depth of knowledge. And if you recall, um, the first level of Webb's depth of knowledge starts with recall. There are four levels to Webb's level of understanding and the whole idea behind it is when students are learning how do you know that they've learned and these are the the depth of knowledge are the things that you ask students to do the formative or summative assessments um, the success criteria that stems from the learning targets and so there are four levels. Uh, level one, again, is that recall, students being able to uh, draw something out, to recall from a video, um, to state what they have learned. Level two moves on to a skill or a concept um, that they are able to show you or do. Uh, level three moves up into that strategic thinking where they're drawing conclusions, citing evidence, um, critiquing one another's work or the work of somebody else. And level four is that extended thinking. And that's really where you get into the creation and the synthesizing, um, proving, truly proving your understanding. So where does YouTube fit in? YouTube, I feel, can lead up to, the, be the content that leads up to um, that level of understanding before you're asking them to perform that skill um, or drawing those conclusions. And then YouTube can also be the actual product that they produce if you're looking at Web's level four. So in my classroom, when designing um, the best learning experience, YouTube is often used um, in the first three levels as the content. So I may pull a video, um, a grammar video, um, or a playlist, um, a series of videos, and at the end, ask them at a level one to um, recall something from the video and that would be a level one. A level two, they may watch content, um, something I've put together, and I may ask them for the cause and effect. Um, just make observations and take notes. Um, they may be asked to summarize what they watched and they saw and that would be a level two. A level three, in the depth of knowledge, students would be drawing conclusions. They may work backwards and ask them to cite the evidence that came from the video, um, formulate more questions, or even critique the content that they watched. So for levels one, two, and three, 
the videos or the YouTube would actually be the content used before the understanding took place. And then at that level four, that true extension, that true extended thinking, um, students would be synthesizing what they saw and even creating their own videos, truly sharing their new knowledge through the use of YouTube. And that's truly, speaking candidly, that's truly what I thought of when I was thinking of the potential of YouTube in the classroom. And any these days anymore with the amount of assessment and formative assessment, I feel like we can use YouTube in new ways to truly tap into students' um, new learning and understanding and have them use and create videos to show what they know. And that all stems from um, their learning targets, their daily learning targets, um, their long-term goals, and using YouTube um, as the success criteria. Students can understand and they will create videos. They will use videos to show their new understanding.